y'all. Um, welcome back. I think we have decided on a channel name. I think we're going to name it Henley Homestead. That's a combination of our last name and then our daughter and son-in-law's last name. So uh, we might do that. But also, um, I wanted to let y'all know that today I'm going to take you on a mobile home tour. Jenny and I went Friday afternoon and I filmed it and we spoke to the man about some more things. And then um, yesterday, Jamie and I rode out to the property and filmed a little bit out there to show you kind of where we're going to put it. So we'll show you that too when we get done. Uh, and I didn't get an intro filmed, so I'm filming it now while we're sitting here at Sonic waiting on them to bring us some lunch today. And the video, I'm going to go ahead and warn you, warn you it abruptly ends uh, on the mobile home tour because some people came in. I did finish the entire home, but like it stops without me telling you it's going to stop or anything. So uh, it'll skip right in from the mobile home into the land and where we're going to put any, everything. And, um, yeah, I just want to say thank y'all for all of your support. We really appreciate it. Thank you it. for the kind words uh, for and prayers for my mother. I appreciate that. I really do. It means a lot. So, we'll see y'all in just a minute in the mobile home. All right, this is the mobile home that we have chosen. And um, I like the colors on the outside. We're going to stick with those colors, but on the inside we're going to change the colors up so let's go in here let me get the door unlocked let me see if i can kind of get a that's the front of the house and we'll go inside okay when you first come in the front door um, now remember, this is not a finished, this is a lot model. We'll be changing colors and things like that as we want to. But when you first come in the front door, you have your living area and, um, this trim, this black trim, I'm going to do white. I think Jenny and Trent are going to leave theirs black. And then the walls, um, I haven't chosen my color for sure yet, but I think I'm going to go with a color called sea salt. It's really pretty. Then it goes straight into your dining room area and your kitchen. So for the dining area, you have um, this, this sliding glass doors off the back and then the laundry room is this way. And there's room in here. Let me back up where you can see. There's room in here for your washer and dryer not too much else as far as room in the laundry room area. Some of the other ones have huge laundry rooms. This one doesn't, um, but that's okay. I really like this one. And right here, this outlet in this wall, I think that my freeze dryer will probably fit right there on that. Um, but if it doesn't, that's fine. That's not a big deal. And that's the dining room wall right there. All right, then you've got the kitchen area, which I'm gonna go with um, a little bit different on the island in colors, um, but I think I like the white cabinets and the countertop that's here. There's a good bit of counter space. I like that a lot. Um, it does come with appliances and the microwave is over here in the wall. So that won't be on my counter anymore, taking up space. And then the sink is over here on the island. It is a big island, like it's very large. And it's, I've got the, I like the apron sink. And then you can see there's the living room from it. And you come around the island down, and I know, but all that, when they, when you get your home set up, they finish all these walls. It's just, they stay like this on the lot model. Um, but how it's got drywall throughout, I really like that versus the um, wallpaper, but that's just cosmetic. That was just something I liked. You've got your um, little bar area. Then in here, right there is the pantry on this side. This side has like a broom closet. I'll show you. 
So it's just like a regular broom closet. And then on the other side of it is like, and there's gonna be Jamie's man cave room, but the other side of it's just like it. It's a pantry and you can choose to do the shelves, the pantry shelves. You can choose to do those all the way on both sides and have it a pantry on both sides if you want to, instead of it being just the broom closet. Then in here is, there's, this is a four bedroom. So in here is one of the extra bedrooms and um, it's got a closet here. Right through there's the kitchen. And then this one has the Jack and Jill bathroom. So you come in this way and it has right here, it has double sinks. Um, there's not electricity in here, so it might be a little dark on camera. I apologize for that. And then in here, I think that it's gonna be really dark for y'all, but in here is the Jack and Jill bathroom. This is in between the two bedrooms on this side, and then it has a full, a full shower to it. And then, yeah, no, I tried the electricity, it doesn't work. This would be the other bedroom coming off from um, there with the Jack and Jill in between. And it has this cute little barn door that separates this area. I love that fireplace too. Of course, where we live in the South, I don't know how much use we'll get, but this will be Jamie's little den area. Um, he does have a place at home now, so this will give him some, give, give him a place to still have all of his stuff. And then, like I said, that's back through the kitchen from here, and you can close this off, this shuts. So we're gonna do, I think we're gonna do um, these two rooms, that room and that room. One of them will be a guest room, one of them will be an office, and this room here, this would be the third bedroom on this side, but it's a total of four bedrooms, like I said. This one will be my pantry room. Um, and I know it's at the back of the house, not right across from the kitchen. And y'all might be thinking it would make more sense to make the one by the kitchen, the pantry room. But right there is the door that comes into the house. And so when we're coming and bringing groceries in, um, from the carport. So we came in the front door, but this is like a side door and that's the side of the house that our carport will be on. We'll come right in there with the groceries. So it'll go right into here, into this room and the rest into the kitchen. Um, and then there is another full bathroom on this side as well. And then I will come show y'all the um, master bedroom, which, oh, and it does have the ceilings, the vents are in the ceiling on this model. Um, and it has all this recessed lighting throughout here. And it comes with AC, it comes with the setup, it comes with skirting, it comes with um, a deck at each, a small step at the front and the back, and then like a small deck at this sliding doors, but we are gonna pay to upgrade to a little bit larger deck where we can put like a, um, a grill and stuff out there. And then this is going to be the master bedroom. So it's a pretty decent size. And like I said, this is not, we have not ordered yet. This is not my model. This is a lot model, but this is the model that I will be, um, choosing and that Jenny will be choosing. And She's in there checking out the bathroom now. This is the closet. It is a huge closet. Not only does it go way back in here, but then once you get in here, it goes again back this way so far. And then again, it goes back over this way. It is huge, huge, huge closet. Um, these uh, I can't remember where they told me those beams go. I started to tell y'all, but I don't remember now. Then the bathroom, y'all, I am in love with this bathroom. Oh, another super cute barn door. How adorable is that? 
this huge bathtub that I cannot wait to be able to just relax and take a soak in. Cute little accent area behind it and a nice pretty window. And then the bathroom, I mean the toilet is right over here, that way. And then, um, well, that's hard to show you there, but let's see. So it's, I can't, I don't have enough room to show y'all to back up and show you, but this is the, so it's a double sink and it has these cabinets here, um, which I really like. And then this shower, which Jamie is excited about this shower. I'm excited about the tub and he's excited about the shower because it has both of these uh, shower heads to be able to stand under. And it even has a little seating area in the shower as well. Okay, the property, this is the property now that it's been cleared some and all the way back to that tree line about in that area, way back there where it's cleared is where I think Jenny and Trent are gonna do their home. And all of this that you can see is in the middle of our property. That's like the ponded area. And then our home is going way back here. I'm gonna walk you back there and show you, but it's going all the way back there in that back corner. So we'll walk back there and look at that now. Okay, right here is between these pink flags is where the garage is gonna go. And this is still our property right here. We left like a layer of brush to kind of give a break between us and the neighbor. And then you can see how far that little tiny black dot way down there is Jamie's truck on the road. The land is still a little wet, so I didn't want to, I didn't want him to drive in here on it because I didn't want to get stuck this afternoon, but so we just parked out there, but they're going to come in and do a driveway from all the way out there, all the way to where we are. And then over here, um, what has she got? Biscuit's got something. She done found something over here between these pink stakes here is going to be where we're going to put our house. So it won't be very far from the garage. Um, and then I think we're going to do, so the house will be facing the road. So we're going to do the carport right here on this side of the house because there's a door um, that I showed y'all in the mobile home tour off of the back of the house. So the carport would be here and then right there is the garage and then the actual home in between here and we might take out i know we're going to take out some more of these trees just because i don't want them to get super tall and um be you know right over top of the house so if i'm standing in the kitchen then this would be my view from my kitchen window would be all of this and then if I was standing in, or if I was sitting in the living room, this would be the view. And that brush area, we're gonna get somebody in here to clean up all that brush, but that is the ponded area. That's like three acres, roughly, give or take a little, right in the very middle of the property. It's pretty much a circle. And then back this way, way back there that's our next property line and there's a creek a natural creek that runs at the back of that corner too so we're not sure right now if that creek is what is feeding this ponded area we got to find that out you can see the wet area a little better here and these cypress trees that are like right in the middle of it there and then I'm now standing over not fully over on the other side but way down there if you can see Jamie and Biscuit that's where I was showing you a minute ago that our house is going to be and then originally Jenny and Trent were going to put their house back here in this corner but once we realized how wet of an area it was going to be they decided against that because um, like I said there's a creek 
right in this area here, um, like a natural creek. And then that's why we kind of think it might be feeding underground. It could be feeding this ponded area. We're not sure. So other than cleaning up the edges, we're not going to do anything with that. Um, and they're not going to put their home down here. They're going to put it down at this front corner that I'll show you in just a minute when we round the corner here. All right, these pink flags are where Jenny and Trent are looking at going. And right out there where you see the power pole, that's the road. So then this will be cleaned up, but that'll be the ponded area. And then just a natural pond. We're not digging the pond there. And then all the way back, you can see they would have all of that behind them. And we would be across this in that far corner for our home. So all of this, and then down here to this corner, I apologize if it's shaky. I'm trying to hold it the best I can while I walk, but so their view from their front, from their living room would be this, and then it would be that behind them, and then going back this way is back at the front of the property. Here's the road, and headed that way would be back over toward the driveway that we are putting in over there. And then this, it's probably the best view I can give you of an idea of what I keep talking about when I say ponded area. Just see how wet it is? all the way around that so aside from cleaning it up and a little bit of maybe digging around the outside area to keep it contained we're not going to do anything to that area and that's what I was telling you they told us could be a pond for fish and whatnot already just like it is it just won't be a dugout pond and that's that's fine so that's what we're looking at now that's it for our video today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. We're very excited to share this process with y'all and um, we just appreciate all of your support and we will see you in the next one. Bye.